Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Got some stuff, nothing too exciting. Well, a couple things that are exciting, but my stores are a little low on stock. However, my main store that I go to, um, yesterday I was in there and the aisles were full of boxes. So I'm hoping to go back this evening or tomorrow morning and see what I can find. I've got some coffee, which I'm almost out, so I gotta go to the store. I'm a little tired though today. I um I met Sarah. I did my first exercise, get out of the house, moving for Pelotonia training this morning. We walked three miles at a gorge. It took us about an hour, so it was exciting. I'll have that video up later. Just a little bit of what we did, and then talking about my fundraiser. But this is not about that, so let's get started. Um, no particular order, but I'm so excited. I found this nail color that actually is almost identical to the color that I'm wearing, and I really like it. And this is the um, LA color. I don't know if there's a name for this. Um, balance? It could be called Balance. I don't really know. It is... It just says CNL135 balance. Yeah, I don't know, but it was, um, it's a kind of like a purpley gray taupey kind of color. It's a pretty much identical to what I'm wearing. So that's exciting. And I have, I don't buy a lot of nail polishes. I have a lot that I need to go through and purge, but you know, it is what it is. All right, I found a couple office supply things. Um, I got these. These are right on removable index tabs. These are going to go into my box of goodies for next year. I love these, especially if I'm using an untapped notebook. I love being able to put these in and that they're white. So they're pretty basic. And I also picked up a Sharpie to write on because a lot of times these like dry erase or repositionable things, you really need to have a permanent marker to write with. And conveniently enough, here is my box. I keep it under my coffee table. So when I do my Dollar Tree hauls, I can just throw it in here. Um, these are other ones that I got. These are Post-it brand. And these are the same thing. Um, repositionable tabs. So I grabbed some of those. And I do actually have something in here that I want. Okay, so let's put the box back under. Now, I, I know I don't need more notebooks, but guys, look at it. <laughs> it's navy blue with floral, and it says, good things take time. And this is actually going to be for, because good things take time, my tracking of all of my exercise that I'm doing. And like a little journal for my preparation to ride this year. I think it'll help me stay motivated if I have a place to put down, you know, all my walks, what I've done today to help myself get my body ready. Uh, riding 50 miles is, I guess it's the equivalent I've heard of like running a half marathon in the sports world. Now it takes me like five hours to do it, but nonetheless, it's work. So there's that. Um, I grabbed a couple of the lighters. I really enjoy these. They're Crocs handy lighters. Um, these are great for just lighting candles. Um, I use the longer ones to light my charcoal but these are great for candles. So I was running low, grabbed a couple of those. Um, the only, I think, I maybe more, but I think this is the only beauty product. And this is Sheer Envy Fit It Mask Night Repair from Hard Candy. So it's a serum um, to put on at night to repair. It's a night repair serum, guys, I don't know. <laughs> But I did find that and I thought it was pretty awesome. So we'll use that. I need, I like night serums. Right? Right. Um, I did find this, which is an infinity. So this is the infinity symbol. And then in it, it says love. And I thought that was really fun. It would make a different or interesting wreath. Door hanging type situation. It's, I like it that it's pretty decent size too. So, and it's just the wire frame. We'll see if it becomes anything, but I like it. So I grabbed it. There was literally one on my shelf. 
So I know that I miss stuff all the time because, you know, I'll sometimes find like one thing. Um, they had these little signs. They're like, I don't, I think it's just plastic. And this just says everything, every, every moment matters. But I think what I'm going to do is try to take this print off and create my own little sign in the white here. And I'll show you what I would like to sit it upon. So I found at one, I stopped on my way home from hiking today or walking and found the hanging shelves. So I am getting new furniture. It won't be here probably if I had to guess. Well, it's scheduled May 28th, but we'll see. But I grabbed four of these for, yeah. I don't know how many I'm gonna use, but I'm definitely going to, I'm not gonna paint the whole shelf, but I am gonna paint this edge like a darker color since my walls are super light. And this wall behind me, I may hang three of these staggered. And then I thought this would look really cute just sitting on one, maybe with a different saying or something. And then maybe like a vase or something. These are 15.7 inches long by three and a half inches deep. So they're pretty long, you know, and they're deep enough. I wouldn't put anything super heavy on here, but for $1, um, yes, please. And if they don't work out down here when I get my new furniture, I could put them on the hallway upstairs. So I grabbed four because honestly, this, is the first, this was the first and only time I have seen them. They, there was a whole box on the shelf, so I felt comfortable taking four of them. Um, the lady at the cash register said that they've been flying out all day. Now this was a Dollar Tree in a different town. Um, the place that Sarah and I went walking was it's about 40 minutes from me and about 30 minutes from her, but it's really pretty. It's, um, called Blackhand Gorge and it's been cut through the shale and rock. So we went there. Um, I have seen these several times at my store. I never picked them up because I was like, well, I don't really need drawer pulls and thinking, you know, I don't need them. And they were kind of, you know, I feel like for children's, children's, um, things but I did see a couple DIYs where you put a handle on top of a jar just for looks I could paint this any color I want and I thought that was the most neutral of the handles so I grabbed a set and uh, we'll see for a dollar you know that's very reasonably priced and it comes with all your hardware and it would just literally require drilling a hole in the top of a jar so I'll put those in with my garage stuff and if I find a need for it perfect they came back out with these this year um I don't know if they had this specific one last year but I liked that it didn't have any writing on it and I also liked that I could just hang this in the middle of a wreath or attach it somehow so I thought that was fun if not you can also use these for other you know paint over it or whatever and it does come with a little piece of wire that you would need to hang it and they had several different designs, but I like this and it's just pressed wood. So I thought that was really neat. So I grabbed it to go into my crafting little bin. You know, it also could just sit on a shelf. You could put a bow or like a bead or a button or something here and you could just sit it on a shelf or fill it in with a little bit of uh, wood putty. I found the ironing board signs, which I just think are adorable. And I will definitely be putting this in my laundry area. I'm not sure that I'll be hooking socks from it because I don't typically lose my socks, but I thought it was cute. They had it in this color and white, but I liked this color. I will put a new string on it. I don't love, I like them with the knots in the front. So we'll see. But I could also just take this off and Velcro it to the wall. Or on the folding door. I have bifold doors going into my laundry room, so I could attach it to that. And this kind of goes more with my the bifold doors than the white did. Guys, I'm tired. Excuse me. Okay. I found the big soleil single razors. I don't really have a need for these for myself, but the girls that are going on the trip that I'm putting together some goodie bags for, I thought this would be perfect for them. They could just throw it in their luggage if they need it while they're there. Great. If not, they have them for when they come home. But I like that they were individually packaged. These are my preferred razor, so I know they're good. 
and these are for sensitive shave and they're they help protect skin from nicks and cuts and they have a comfort shield and i know the girls will enjoy them so i'll throw those in their little goodie bags you know why not um this was an interesting find at this time of the year but it's the decorative filler this is straight up for christmas i mean it's a winter it's pine cones so I grabbed one with the white and I grabbed one with the gold and I thought I could mix them together. I know it says it's a decorative fill, but honestly, this stuff will be great if you're making little ornaments or just look little accent pieces or you want some tiny pine cones or just a little bulb or a bobble. These are great to just use as accent pieces on crafts that you're doing or fill it in a vase and put it on your jar. Again, though, I just thought it was kind of bizarre that it's out now although at the same store i saw their thanksgiving plates out too so i'm wondering if they're in the back room clearing out some old boxes of stuff but yeah i thought these were fun i'm gonna keep checking out that same store because i there was a lot of things that the holidays that i never saw and i wonder if they're going to be coming out like these i never saw these they also have them in silver i just preferred the gold and the white so again these will go with my crafty bits I have a, you know, in my craft room, I have containers for all that type of stuff. I found this planter, which I think is interesting. I don't really know how I feel about it, so I only got one. And my plan is to put it outdoors, which is fine. It does have the three places in the bottom. You can just take a screwdriver and a hammer and knock out these three drainage holes. And I thought this would be fun just as a small planter to sit on my porch with some maybe some shade plants in it or something for the summer. I also have something else over here that'll go with it. Um, I found these bags. They're calling them cosmetic bags. I will tell you, this one says Dreamer. This is neoprene, like um, wetsuit material. And this is mesh. I am straight up taking these to the beach. I'm gonna put them in my beach bag. And I might share one, but like sunblock in here, goggles could go in here, anything that might touch the sand and you can just shake it to get all the sand out. If it gets wet, it's not going to fall apart at all. This is, I'm telling you, this is perfect for the, for your beach bag, pool bag, um, because of the mesh down here, it'll air dry anything inside that might be wet. So I grabbed two of them. I do, well, in the real world, when we're back to normal, I try to go to the beach about once a year and I go to the pool. So any one of these could just throw it in my bag and have it in case things get wet. Like they do when you're at the pool, the beach, on vacation. Um, I wouldn't put electronics in here. Obviously, sand and water could get to it. But snacks even. I mean, anything really. But I like that they definitely will not get ruined if they get wet. Let's take a thumbnail, shall we? Guys, I'm so cheesy, I can't help it. All uh, right, I have a big bucket over here. I grabbed three more drink mixes. I got fruit punch, grape, and orange. These happen to be my three of my favorites. Throw a cherry on the end and I am like happy as can be. So I grabbed three more of those. Um, also for the girls, I got them a set of the friendship bracelet kits and they come with the directions in here. I don't know if this is their age group or not. If they don't wanna do it, they don't have to, or maybe on a rainy day, we can all sit around and create some friendship bracelets. But I thought these were fun little kits that are complete with everything. Hi. I have a cat down here trying to play with this. Dude, It's it's you can play with it, but it's not gonna be fun. So anyway, I grabbed two of those for the girls. I'm putting those to the side because they have, um, they have their, I have their bag over here. I grabbed three boxes of these, again, one for each of the girls, but I wanna show you, if you've never seen what these are. Now this is the three pack of the large size, and I will tell you what these are fantastic for packing. If you are traveling or going anywhere, they are really solid. They're like a really heavy duty zip top, but put your wet like shampoo, conditioner, you could put socks and undies, but 
I would do like my wet stuff that goes in my luggage, hair care, anything like that. And then like, let's say when I go to Ireland, I will definitely be bringing a couple. So on the way home, if I buy any alcohol, like some, let's say I buy some Irish whiskey to bring home, it has to go in my luggage. So I will wrap it up and I will probably even bring a, a roll of bubble tape or bubble wrap put it in here and shove it in my luggage and then if it were to break it would get a, it would stay in this bag and I wouldn't get alcohol all over everything and ruin it same thing goes for hairspray shampoo sunblock any type of liquids this is also good um picnicking kid stuff storing away the kids toys in the garage I mean these are just great extra large zip top baggies is what these are and these are the large size I've only seen them at my store in large and then a double extra large comes with one in the box. So I'm gonna give them to the girls when they pack. Um, they wanna put their wet stuff in it when they come home, like bathing suits or whatever, or again, their, their um, stuff in their luggage. I just thought that would be something handy for them to have. Um, oh, I did get one more thing. I don't typically buy these, but I just thought this was super cute. It's planner stickers, but look, it's kitties. There's cats and dogs. Um, here, I'll show you. On this front page, oops, these are fun sticker kits. I've bought them before. And then on page two, you just have all kinds of word stickers and dots. And these dots are great if you're trying to track something. Um, to-do lists. I use them for um, when I was tracking like my cycle. I would do that on the calendar. Paydays. Then there's all kinds of words. Plan today. To-do. Make a list. Busy week. These are fun. Just to, you know, make your planning not so harsh. Stickers. And then little checklists. Yeah, so you get a nice little book of them. 369 stickers for a dollar is a really good deal. So I grabbed that. That'll probably go in my planner box for next year because I don't need them right now. Um, oh, I did get one more drink. It's actually true lemon. This is literally just crystallized lemon juice. If you're doing any kind of baking and it calls for like lemon, you can use this instead of lemon juice. Well, and you can just dissolve it in like a teaspoon of water. Like it says, if it calls for a teaspoon of lemon juice, you could just either throw this in there or dissolve it in a teaspoon. But it's, you get 12 packets and it's just crystallized lemon. No sugar, no sweetener. And it's great to have like that refreshing, like lemony water scent. Scent? Flavor. But these are great. I love them. So I grabbed those. Um, I found this these gift bags you know I'm a sucker for the gift bags how fun is that just solid gold again could use it for crafting gifting this one is just puffy I love it because it's like puffy pillows thought it would be fun nice little gift bag I have a little collection not a ton but enough um also for my next year's planner bucket I found I get these um actually Sarah uses these she's my niece she uses these to flag books when she's reading them if she wants to go back to something you get 400 stickers in here but I use them in planners and things I like the color variation and you can write on them um this is that more like plasticky so if you're going to write on it you need that permanent marker um, but yeah, I love these. I use them fairly regularly. I grabbed her a set and I'm like, well, I might as well grab myself a set for next year. I gave her my other set that I had, hadn't opened yet a while ago. So I grabbed her another. Um, I grabbed a box of alcohol prep. Many, many uses for these. You get a hundred. It's alcohol. So I use it for blood testing. I can use it if I'm giving myself my shot once a week. You can use it like putting on fake nails. You can use it to take care of your nail bed and crafting. If you're going to stick something to glass, these are great. And it's name brand. You get a boo-boo. It would burn, but you can do it. So I just grabbed a box. I thought for a dollar for some alcohol prep pads. These are good to have about the house. And um, what I enjoy is that they are prepackaged. So I can just throw them in with my 
medical kit when I leave the house or whatever. If I have to check my blood sugar shots or anything like that. But it's Curad brand. Yeah, and you get 100, which is a fine good deal. Two things left to show. Three things. I found this paint. Rich Art is the name of the brand. This is Art, Artology, and it's just... I don't know if it's acrylic or tempera, acrylic, but I loved the color. So I grabbed a bottle of that. I thought this would be super fun for like spring, summer crafting. I love that color. So I grabbed it and it's four fluid ounces. So you get a fair amount of paint in there. So I grabbed that and then I found them. Guys, these are giant planters. Like, look at it next to my head giant my plan for these i grabbed two my store only had this color and then they had a couple of the gray i prefer the terracotta for outdoors um these also have the punch out the bottom for drainage so i will punch those but what i'm gonna do is fill the bottom with trash or plastic bags or paper bags or whatever and then the top you know, from here up with potting soil and get some perennials for my front yard. Um, one at the front of the first of the walkway and then one up at the top of the walk up here by my front porch and put some petunias or marigolds or something that likes full sun. I do get full sun out there. And these are beautiful and they're nice and large, which is what I love. You can also make like a table. I don't I don't know if their pizza plate is big enough, the pizza pan, uh, but if it is, you could like attach them together like this and then put a top on it and make it like a table for your front porch. You could also use some E6000 glue and glue them together this way and then put one more up here and make it a tall picture. So there's lots of things you could do with these, none of which I'm going to do, except for put some dirt in them and make planters. But you can. So I thought these were a fantastic find. I had seen some other folks haul them. Now, last but not least, I found these, and these are definitely not a Dollar Tree find, guys. I'm sorry. What the heck? It is. Are you ready for this? It is a fake cell phone flask. What? So, uh, eight ounces it holds of li liquor, liquids, I don't know. Best brand product. It does say not to leave your beverage of choice in here for more than three days. But I'm going to take this one. I grabbed two, one for Sarah. Um, so it just looks like, you know, a cell phone in an otter box. Very unassuming. But on the two sides, there are these two little um, slides that come up. You unscrew the top and it holds eight ounces. What? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm 50. Do I need to hide liquor? Probably not. But is it going to be fun? Absolutely. Yeah, and it will hold eight ounces. So, like, that park festival, if you want to have an adult beverage, I mean, I'm not saying breaking the law here, folks. I'm just saying you can bring in some whatever you want in here, eight ounces of whatever you want. I just thought this was hysterical. Um, I know Sarah goes to, well, she used to, I don't know about anymore, but they go to a lot of festivals outdoors. And yeah, this would be perfect for that. I mean, nobody's getting trashed, I would say, on eight ounces of something, but whatever. I just thought they were super fun. Who doesn't need a cell phone flask? I mean, I don't know. Phone flask, it just cracked me up. So I grabbed two. I thought even as a gag gift, this would be so fun. All right, guys, that is everything today that I purchased this week at my five different Dollar Tree, six. Guys, I went to six Dollar Trees to come up with this haul this week. It's it's slim pickings out there right now. I was so excited when I found these shelves, though, because I've been, um, I've been on the hunt for them for some time. 
my my stores are really slow apparently to um i'm just stucking sticking things back in here while i chat with you my store has been oh i didn't show you this it's for my car it's just a little nail file i love that they come in their own case um i will tell you though they're not fantastic but having its own case makes it worth it to have it in the dash of my car and if i break a nail quickly you know I'm not going to do a manicure on myself, but it definitely will fix a nail. Anyway, so um, my store is pretty slow on getting the new stuff in, I guess, compared to what I've been seeing out there. But it's trickling through, like the washboard and the shelving and all of that. So I'm going to make a concerted effort this week to hit some more stores. I'm hoping to get my glasses in this week. I ordered them three weeks ago, so hopefully they'll be in this week. Because my vision has changed and it's time for new glasses. And yeah, that's everything. So guys, I hope you have a fantastic week and I will talk with you later. Bye.